Matit Yahu, Matthew 21. And when they drew nigh unto Yerushalayim, and were come to Beit Pag, unto the Mount of Olives, then sent Yahusha to Talmudim, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied, and a colt with her. Loose them, and bring them unto me. And if any man say aught unto you, ye shall say, Adonai has need of them, and straightway he will, he will send them. All this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Sion, Behold, your king comes unto you, meek and sitting upon an ass, and a colt, the fowl of an ass. And the Talmudim went and did as Yahusha commanded them, and brought the ass and the colt, and put on them their clothes, and they set him thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees and strawed them in the way. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hushana, the son of David. Blessed is he that comes in the name of Yahuwah, Hushana, in the highest. And when he was come into Yerushalayim, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Yahusha, the prophet of Nazareth of Galil. And Yahusha went into the temple of Yahuwah, and cast out at all them that sold and bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changers, and the seats of them that sold doves. And said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. And when the chief priests and scribes saw at the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying in the temple, and saying, Hushana to the son of David, they were sore displeased, and said unto him, Hear you what these say? And Yahusha said unto them, Yea, have ye never read, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings you have perfected praise? And he left them and went out of the city into Bethany, and he lodged there. Now in the morning, as he returned into the city, he hungered. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, He came to it and found nothing thereon, but leaves only, and said unto it, Let no fruit grow on you henceforward forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. And when the Talmudim saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? Yahusha answered and said unto them, Amen, I say unto you, if ye have belief, and doubt not. Ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. And when he was come into the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came unto him as he was teaching and said, By what authority do you these things? And who gave you this authority? And Yahusha answered and said unto them, I also will ask you one thing, which, if ye tell me, I and likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. The immersion of Yahuchanan, whence was it? from heaven or of men. And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say unto us, Why did ye not then believe him? 
But if we shall say of men, we fear the people, for all hold Yahuchanan as a prophet. And they answered Yahusha and said, We cannot tell. And he said unto them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. But what think ye? A certain man had two sons, and he came to the first, and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. He answered and said, I will not. But afterward he repented and went. And he came to the second and said, Likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir, and went not. Whether of them two did the will of his father? They say unto him, The first. Yahusha says unto them, Amen, I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of Yahuwah before you. For Yahuchanan came unto you in the way of righteousness, and ye believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots believed him. And ye, when ye had seen it, repented not afterward that ye might believe him. Here another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it round about and dug a winepress in it and built a tower and let it out to husbandmen and went into a far country. And when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husbandmen took his servants and beat one and killed another and stoned another. Again he sent other servants more than the first, and they did unto them likewise. But, last of all, he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and let us seize on his inheritance. And they caught him and cast him out of the vineyard and slew him. When the Lord, therefore, of the vineyard comes, what will he do unto those husbandmen? They say unto him, He will miserably destroy those wicked men, and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits in their seasons. Yahusha said unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same is become the head of the corner. This is Yahweh's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, The kingdom of Yahweh shall be taken from you, and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, It will grind him to powder. And when the chief priests and Parashim had heard his parables, they perceived that he spoke of them. But when they sought to lay hands on him, they feared the multitude, because they took him for a prophet.